We're welcoming back Ross Benjamin, college basketball analyst, and we're going to break down two games in our series of underdog value. The two games tonight that Ross wants to look at is Oregon State getting four and a half points at Colorado, and also USC, who's been playing very good ball, getting two points at UCLA. So I'm anxious to hear Ross's breakdown and get the reasons why tonight cash in our ticket should be on these two ball games with the underdog. Ross, I hope everything's going well on your end. Uh, break these games down for us, if you will, and let us know why you feel these two hold the edge. Absolutely, Mike. Uh, let's start with the Oregon State and Colorado game in Boulder. You know, this is a Colorado team that started out the year very well, and they still may be uh, a sleeper in the Pac-12 at the year's end. But right now, they're playing a little bit shaky basketball. They've gone two and three in their last five games their only two wins came by a single point on each occasion against Stanford and Penn State. They've really struggled offensively in their last five games, 62.4 points per contest and shooting a dismal 37.5% from the field. You know, this is an Oregon State team that, like Colorado, could be a sleeper in the Pac-12 tournament at the year's end. They'll also be playing with tournament revenge as they were knocked out of the Pac-12 tournament last year against these same Colorado Buffaloes. Uh, this is a Oregon State team that right now is 11-3 and on the season. Very good perimeter shooting team, converting on 38.4% of their three-point attempts. I like Oregon State here, plus the four and a half at Colorado, Mike. Yeah, Ross, I also like Oregon State with the four and a half. Um, there's several reasons. One of them is uh, Oregon State's off to the best start they've had in, in 27 years, so that really bodes well for confidence. And they're led from Gary Payton the second. I like this kid. He's a lot like his father. He's a leader, and you touched on one point. This could be a revenge game from last year. Now, Colorado, on the other hand, Ross, this is this one stat really stood out. They did. They started off hot. They were 11-1, and one, and then them 12s games. They were averaging 84 points scoring. All right, now they've been slumping. They're down averaging 60 points a game. That is quite a drop off. So I don't know if tonight against a hot Oregon State team is the way to straighten it out. So I also, I like that Oregon State. Hell, they might win this thing outright, Ross. Now, USC and UCLA, I'm going to probably take the other side, but I'm anxious to hear your breakdown on USC tonight and why you think uh, plus two will make a difference in this ballgame. Yeah, huge rivalry game here, Mike. Boy, if you would have told me six weeks ago that uh, when UCLA and USC met in early January, that the Bruins would only be a two-point favorite at home against their crosstown rival, I would have said you need to have your head examined. But that's exactly the case right now. Uh, you know, it's almost like the books, this is an enticing line. They're almost begging you to take UCLA in this spot as a short favorite at home. But, you know, you look inside the numbers. This is a UCLA team, very talented. There's no two ways about it. Mm -hmm. But they've also been very erratic this season. What team is going to show up? The one that knocked off Kentucky and won at Gonzaga? Or the team that lost at home to Monmouth, lost to Kansas by 19, lost to North Carolina by 13? Uh, also lost to mediocre teams in Wake Forest, Washington, and Washington State. Uh, you know, this USC team, they impressed me the more I watched them. And they showed a lot of resiliency and character to me in their last game against Arizona, Mike, a game we discussed on a prior video. Uh, you know, this is a USC team that's coming off that win, a thrilling four overtime contest against Arizona. The most impressive part for me in that win was the fact they led that game by 10 points with less than five minutes to play and allowed Arizona to storm back and tie them up and take it to overtime. When I saw that happen, I would have bet anything at that point that Arizona was going to come away with sure. a win riding that type of momentum. And you know what? They staved them off. They showed a lot of resiliency, and they ended up winning that contest. This is the USC team. Nine of their last ten they've won. Their only loss in that sequence was a two-point defeat at Washington. Very good offensive team, 84 points per game. Last five games shooting 49% from the field, 48% from the three-point line, and they've exhibited stellar defensive play. Although they give up a lot of points because they like to play at a faster pace, they're holding opponents to less than 40% shooting from the field. 
you know, I'm not going to fall for the trap here. I'm going to take USC plus the two against UCLA. Okay, everybody, so you heard it. Oregon State plus the four and a half against Colorado tonight and USC plus the two against UCLA. Those are the two underdog games that Ross Benjamin is saying will cash your tickets tonight. Ross, good luck and uh, hope to have you back here real soon and you can talk about the two wins that you had in these underdog games tonight. Look forward to it, Mike. Thank you for having me.